The village life. This is what it's all about. Welcome to Beverly Hills. So where are we going? Ah! Right or left? Let's just go left. All right. So, should be going like this, right? Get a good view. But anyways, so yeah, I wanted to say uh, thanks to everybody that subscribed to my channel. It's awesome. Appreciate it. What else? I just ate, had a lot of schnitzels. I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Mainly what it's like living in the Czech Republic, in the Czech countryside. I'm looking forward to going over there. All the uh, yellow fields. I'm not sure what that's called in English, but in Czech it's called uh, Zepa, I think. Zepa or Zepi, I don't know, something like that. And they, I think they use it for like oil, put it in cars or something, something like that. Don't quote me, I don't know. Look at this. Look at this. This is awesome. You getting there? We're getting there. We're gonna go for a like massive walk. Like this, like a farm over there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a huge tour. We're gonna go all the way around. And then we're gonna come back to my little village. Village I call Beverly Hills. So anyways. Oh yeah, look at that. It's badass. I love this place when it starts blooming it's all white the whole street is white pure white I think they're like apples cherries plums I don't know, I know a lot of fruit um, I always asked why were these trees put on the side here when you're driving a car and then you're just gonna crash into one of these trees I was like what's the point of that why would you do that and I was told that, God, I love this village. Dude, I love living in the Czech Republic. This place is awesome. And I was told that, because if you crash, you're gonna hit this tree and you're gonna go bye-bye. You're gonna go meet your maker, right? So I, I asked, what's up with the trees? And I was told that they put them there for back in the day when the kings and queens or royalty used to ride through with horse carriages they would um they made them put put all these trees up these fruit trees so they would have like fruit and food along the way and also to provide shade so they could keep cool in the carriage so i was like all right that's cool that makes sense it's pretty baller first car way up there don't know if you can't see it but Anyway, the Czech Republic is very cool. There's a lot of things that are crazy, weird, wild. You gotta get used to it. But once you get used to these little quirks, this place is just, it's one of a kind, man. It's one of a kind. Man, I think we did a good thing today to come out and check this place out. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot more. We're gonna go up on, over there on the top hill. It's like a little hill and we'll get a whole view of this entire place. The new dream is the Czech dream. This, the village life. This is what it's all about. I mean, if you love working in the city, whatever, New York, Orlando, whatever major city, that's cool. I mean, it's all cement, cement. But uh, so you get a taste of this. Oh, here we go. We got our bus, we got our bus. Let's say, let's say, let's wave hi to him. Let's see if he waves back. Everybody's friendly here. All right. Cool. Right on. Yeah, so if you like working in the city, cool, work in the city. But once you get a taste of this uh, village life, Everything is just so slow. Nothing changes here. Uh, 
anyways oh that's a little village over there and Znoimo is actually over those hills I'll take you guys there one day we'll go down and check out the um, downtown show you the castle show you guys the I showed you guys the backside my last video and we'll go down to the city so you can check out the castle and church and all that stuff the architecture anyway where did I leave off on my in my rant my crazy check rant tree number 205 come on down to the Czech Republic and adopt this tree enjoy lots of fruit that this tree offers you all right so so I came back to the Czech Republic about a month ago I just like how peaceful it is here it's so quiet nobody bothers you if I want to go down to the city I think uh, Znoimo is about I don't know 15 crown um, 15 crowns not 15 crowns has to check money by the way crowns but uh 15 kilometers about 10 miles I'll go down the city get my food or whatever for the week go back to my little kind of World War II house I always say World War II house because that place looks like uh, World War II ended yesterday Brno Brno is about 45 minutes away to an hour second largest city in the Czech Republic we're gonna go right here and then if you want to go to Prague work in Prague Prague is about three hours away two and a half three hours and Vienna Vienna is about an hour away from me and I can smell it I think this stuff is I think that's the stuff that they use like I just said a couple minutes ago they use that for I think they use it for like oil for cooking oil and I think they also put it in cars or a small percentage or something don't quote, don't quote me I don't know but something like that anyway so yeah so if you want to work in the big city I mean I'm only an hour away from Vienna and Brno and then Prague is a little further away it's the jungle Prague the jungle um, oh yeah look at this epic What else can I tell you guys about the Czech Republic? Oh, look at that little rabbit, I think. Oh yeah, he's running. Guys, man, this place is just off the hook. All right, so getting a job in the Czech Republic. Yeah, if you're going to be working here for some company, doing something, whatever, I don't know, like an average salary is, excuse me, I think like, you're gonna get 25, 35, maybe 40,000 crowns as average. I don't know, it's like 1,000 to $1,500 a month. I'm not really sure, don't quote me. I don't know the numbers. Um, but if you're gonna be doing IT, like I said, um, depends what you're doing, e-commerce or administrator or whatever it is, um, you're gonna get paid, get paid pretty good. Um, not like in the States, but we'll treat you well. And, and damn. I love this place you guys got to move if you guys want a chill life you guys got to move to the Czech Republic seriously this place is gold they don't even know how good they have it here I mean if you can get yourself a pretty cool gig cool job you can work from home Czech Republic is is the place for you quality of life here is just nuclear it's off the hook it's so chill it's cheap um, what's expensive? Gas just went up a lot. That was crazy. Gas is pretty expensive now. Um, I hope that goes down. But gas went up. Electricity went up or something like that three times. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, 
all right what else so yeah work blah 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 if you can get a if you get a job if, I mean, if you can make like at least two grand you can make like fifty thousand crowns on your own clean okay so maybe if you can make three thousand dollars you're gonna have a really good life here really good life i mean a high standard okay not really a high standard but you're gonna have a really good time i mean you can get by and you'll pay all your bills off and, and that's pretty high i mean fifty thousand or three grand a month is pretty high here for the czech republic in czech republic they got the crowns and everything is just cheaper in the czech republic i mean czech republic is awesome that's why i like living here so I mean, my money did not go a long way in the States. I mean, it just depletes so quick. I mean, every month it's just a couple grand and it's gone. Keep going. It's a pretty long walk. I think we're going to be walking for about, uh, geez, I think this could be about a couple miles, maybe five, six miles. I'm not really sure. I think so. It's a long walk. It's been a pretty long video. I wish I had my notes. I really wish I had my notes. I had it all perfectly worked out, planned, what I'm going to tell you guys and gals. And uh, now I don't know. forgot to mention um did i tell you guys that i love the czech republic jesus i mean <laughs> this is great today is friday friday is payday no it's just another friday uh i have a lot of stories a lot of stories and i'll tell you guys some stories one day maybe i could tell you a quick one right now but we'll go through them one day they're kind of funny crazy A lot of uh there's a lot of hawks here in the czech republic hawks are cool man look at this lift that up like that it's another village over there Our village is over there somewhere. I don't know if you guys can see it over there, but the nuclear power plants are way over there. We're gonna go there one day. One of my friends works there. He's like a military dude. He's like the one that protects the whole place. Um, you drive down there and he just, they come at you with all the gear and they're covered. You don't know who it is. It's pretty cool. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, like just a couple days ago, I got charged for using internet on my phone. I never even used internet on my phone. I just get charged dollar, just random one day for using internet. And I'm like, no, I didn't use internet. And they're like, no, you did. And I'm like, no, I didn't even do anything. And then they're like, we're gonna, as a courtesy, we'll give it back to you. I'm like, you're not doing me a favor. You just took my money. Like, just give it back to me. It's just a dollar, but. Yeah, I'm in the house. What up, man? Where's my dollar? Give me my money or else all oh, hell is gonna break it. You hear me? You know I don't. Oh, car coming. There's a bus stop right here. <laughs> Out in the middle of nowhere. That view is just epic. Czech Republic baby number one let's see what this is this is a bus stop at uh Podmoli Bunkru Naznami so oh there's a bunker right there so it's a bus stop at the bunker let's go on the other side again let's go check out the bunker since we're here And over on that side, over the hill, just over the hill, is Austria. Because I live on the Austrian border. 
literally on the Austrian border, but in the Czech Republic where it's cheaper. Oh, let's check out this bunk bunker. Let's see, I haven't been here, but I think it's gonna be overgrown. Grass everywhere. I don't think we're gonna be able to get it. Heck, let's go see what's going on. Hello, anybody home? What? Look at this bunker, dude. Protecting the Czech Republic from the Germans coming from the other side, coming in. I mean, oh yeah, this is solid. You know what, let's go inside. Oh man, I don't have my phone, so we don't have a light. Can't see. All right. Anyways, it's a pretty small bunker, but it's kind of weird. I don't know why it's just on this side. I think it's overgrown and there used to be another entrance or something. Not really sure. But anyway, yeah, there's a lot of bunkers here in the uh, Czech Republic on the border side. It says, Ochrane Pasmo Narodniho Parku Podi. So that's um basically what does that mean? That means uh, it's a protected area, a national park. If you guys ever want to read that, pause it right there. Yeah, and if you go over there, you can just go to Austria. There's uh, like a cool this cool castle over on that side. Look at that view. What? Thumbnail. I mean, how epic is this, dude? How epic is this place? Czech Republic. Number one. nice right i'm telling you this place is gold the czechs don't know what they got i mean this place has so much opportunity there you go another car it's like the fifth car in two hours now skoda anyway so that's that part with the services and things like that. I got a lot of crazy stories, so one day we'll talk about the stories. They're pretty wild. Um, what else can we talk about? What else do I have on my plate? God, I wish I had that paper. We got guests. Yeah, a lot of people drive, uh, drive ride their bicycles here in the Czech Republic uh, in the countrysides there's all these little roads and they just ride around stop at a bar have a couple of beers and that's about it let's just say dobri den usually they all say hi to you I'll say like dobri den they're like dobri den or nothing let's see what the attitude is like today <sighs> what else can we say what else can we talk about I wanted to say it's funny the woman's always first on the bike you got a lot of energy what are you done all right what are you done what are you doing? all right I think um they were from Slovakia by the accent not sure Sounded like that. Slovakia is about, ooh, I don't even really know, like an hour and a half from here. Uh, Bratislava, or Bratislava in English. 
is um i think it is like an hour and a half from here something like that all right anyways so what else can we talk about in the czech republic what else is interesting new crazy well the potential here in the czech republic is like unlimited like if you are smart you're not stupid and you play your cards right you will have a great life here in the czech republic people are very cool here very chill a lot of beer drinking a lot of wine drinking but usually uh there are beer drinkers heavy okay heavy beer is pretty good i don't really drink beer myself but it, it's pretty good like on a day today i wouldn't mind a beer it's refreshing so we'll definitely go to one of these um when i think do one of these trips around the czech republic we'll go visit some uh breweries all right what else what else can we talk about let's pause this all right the law the law in the czech republic in the kingdom of bohemia nobody bothers you nobody does anything cops are chill i mean when you get pulled over um i got pulled over for speeding it's always speeding i have no fear of getting my teeth kicked in practically zero crime i really don't know the numbers okay but there are no shootings i don't know in the tv i don't have a tv so everything i do is online but and i don't watch the news so i'm really not informed about the czech crime statistics but it's um it's practically zero i don't know what it's like in prague Brno, to be honest Brno was pretty safe very safe clean and prague i'm not sure i've never lived in prague but here in the countryside or in snowmo oh yeah super safe you can go home at any time you can walk home the only thing that's probably going to happen to you is you're going to probably get run over by a deer jumping out of the bushes okay like when i drive home at night you need to drive slow but yeah deer always jumping out all the time so you got to be careful you gotta watch out uh car yeah let's talk about car my car insurance for the year is two hundred dollars i think it's like two hundred dollars a month actually maybe it was like this time it was lower but let's just say i think it was two hundred dollars not a month sorry two hundred dollars a year for my car insurance and gas gas is pretty expensive in the czech republic um i think it's about but they do it by liters here so it's like a dollar 50 i think per liter maybe dollar 25 i don't know something like that and maybe dollar 50 not really sure so it comes out to almost like six bucks a gallon so it's pretty expensive and it costs me about i think it's like 70 dollars for a full tank so that's my that's the car issue car deal what else can we talk about in the Czech Republic? Dating? Um, Czech girls are pretty hot. It's all the same with Czech girls. A sweet beginning and a wild end. That's how I felt coming from the States. What else can we talk about? That was a quick dating update, huh? Um, man, my arm's starting to hurt holding this cam. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? What else can we talk about? There's Lukov. We're going to go here. Go back to the village. Oh, look at that view. Is this thing recording? Yeah, it is. That car going up there. God, I'm always like look, showing you guys the view because the view here in the Czech Republic is, is just so nice. It's so pleasing to the eye. I know it's all yellow, but I believe next year all the fields, all the fields are going to be something else. 
they always change it out to whatever. I don't know what it's going to be next year. Czech Republic. All right, we're back to normal. We're back again. I have to change out the battery. Cool. Nice little place. All right, what else can we talk about? Czech Republic. If you're planning on moving to the Czech Republic, you're gonna love it. If you buy your own little place here, you're gonna have a really good life. Just like the standard of living here is just super, super awesome. You can travel everywhere. It's pretty cheap. Go see all these places. I'm actually looking forward to doing some traveling here in the Czech Republic. Check out all these castles. There's like a billion castles here in the Czech Republic because there were like a billion ballers back in the day here in the Czech Republic. All legends, by the way. All CEOs with all the zeros in their account. There's always something, some kind of company, like a trip, party going on. When you do, when you work for a company in the Czech Republic and it's a good company, it's got a good name, large corporation, um, they're pretty cool. I mean, when you, if you can make them, depending on what you're doing at the company, what your position is, but like at any position you do here in the Czech Republic, you're going to have a good time. I mean, they're, they're cool. All right. But when you do end up making the company a lot of money, you're going to get treated very well. And... What else? So yeah, so if you do a good job, you do good performance, you know what you're doing, you can make um, really good money here in the Czech Republic. I mean, it goes a long way. I mean, I don't know what the homes cost now. I think they're like, man, I don't know. I can't even get into that. I have no idea. I don't even know what rent is. But if you're in the IT world and uh, you want to get away from the crazy city life in the States or a big city, and you really want to settle down and just have a quiet, slow life. Czech Republic. Seriously. Nobody bothers you. It's chill. There's a thing here. So when you speak Czech, there's like uh, formal and informal, formal and informal uh, greetings. Like, so I th in, in Czech, it's called like uh, tikani and vikani. And that's a hard thing to get, learn because, um, like, if you don't know the people and they're older, you're supposed to, like, be like, how are you, blah, 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 how's everything going? You're not talking to them personally. It's kind of, I'm, I'm not sure how to explain that, but it's not like a personal chat with them. You're, like, you're keeping distance or something. But then if... Uh, if they're your friends and all that, you just talk to them normally, right? And shoot the shit, pretty much. And me, uh, not speaking Czech well, I just shoot the shit right away with everybody. So sometimes they're like shocked and sometimes they know they can hear the accent, the Czech accent. So they, they're cool with it. For example, I'll be like, I'll be on the, where is that? I'll go to the store. And I'll say, like, I know I'm talking to somebody, and I'm like, oh, how are you? And that's like a, like a personal, hello, how are you? What's going on? Like, I know the person kind of thing. It's kind of weird. How do I explain? And they'll be like, what? Do I know you? Why are you talking to me like this? I'm like, oh, my bad. So it's kind of weird. Some people are like, they don't care. They know. Well, they don't know, but they're cool with it. I guess the older generation is more like, sensitive about that so that's that interesting part or like how many people talk to people you know like i'll be at the store and the uh by the cashier and i'm like so how are you today how's it going and this lady was like what do i know you again with the do i know you thing i guess it's like a personal thing i don't know i just thought it was weird it's like you came and asked him Hey, how's it going? What's going on? You know, the younger people are cool with it, but I'm not sure. You know, I'm just, I'm kind of friendly with everybody. So I chat with everyone, get along with everyone. And I guess it's kind of 
this thing like you got to know them you don't know them timing wording and i'm sure when i speak my check it's just like sounds crazy what else can we talk about oh uh, yeah so you want to get away get away come to the czech republic i mean you can move to austria it's super nice there too but it's going to cost you a lot more i don't know what the costs are to live in czech in uh in austria definitely probably way more than czech republic like i said you live in the czech republic you have a good job you make some good income you make your two maybe three thousand dollars a month you are going to be living large um what else can i say about czech republic tree number one two two i think it's 6 p.m you can hear the church churches everywhere castles everywhere in this country everywhere um i can't wait to go visit those actually you get kind of get sick of it and tired of it because it's like another castle another castle another castle another chateau it's always another castle but they're pretty cool i mean they're they're really badass man they're really badass so we're gonna go visit those drink beer eat some traditional czech food and we're just going to keep popping these videos out and then i'll just keep making videos over and over and over again until uh i get old we're gonna get old together i guess let's see how long i can manage and uh feel like doing these videos until i record everything but i'll also hit up uh, austria definitely go to austria as well it's pretty cool too hit a couple places i wanted to see but yeah czech republic is uh where it's at oh we got a guy coming so what is that like that makes it five cars four bikes maybe two motorcycles in the past two three hours that's the village life it's the lifestyle All right, so I'm not really sure what else to talk about. Um, I can talk about like why did I decide to live in the Czech Republic, I guess. Like overall, what brings me here? I kind of got bored of the US, um, the nonstop work, just um, the cost. You know, I used to live in Orlando, so the cost of living, cement everywhere i kind of got tired of that crap got so sick of it and when i came to the czech republic and i saw how it was just so relaxing nothing was happening everybody is just so chill it's like they're all on the same level um you get your like same level people and then you get like some people that are like ultra rich you know some people got to make it of course all right nobody Hello. Hi. Like this, the whole Czech Republic is like, it's kind of like Vermont. It's um, all agro farms out here. And there's only a couple major cities here in the Czech Republic. And that's it. But besides that, it's, um, it's all farms. And it's pretty cool. I'm not really sure if it's self-sustainable. I think it was at one point at its peak. I'm not sure if it's now, but yeah, it's just, it's all farm as you can see, farm area. Um, Brno is like all technology, IT stuff, so you'll you'll get a good job there. Prague too, it's very cool. But I don't want yeah. If you don't want to live in this, like, why would I want to live? Well, it's one of those things again. Here we go. It's personal preference. Like, why do I want to live in Brno or in Prague when I can just stay in Orlando or go to New York or LA or some other Chicago, some other major city? Why would I want to be here? But make good money you have a pretty chill life here um very very high standard of living here did i say that i like it here already i think i say that every time i love it here dude tree number 55 now i think this is a cherry tree or apple tree i'm not really sure like i said don't quote me guys don't quote me i know you guys are gonna say stupid idiot doesn't even know his trees 
Yeah, I don't know my trees. Um, I gotta get a dog. That's what I want to do. Like a German Shepherd or something. I don't know, something that makes me uh actually leave the house. Everybody here has, in the villages, they have like chickens, eggs. I can get pretty much unlimited eggs. I can get some chicken. Um, they have rabbit. Kind of, I feel so bad eating rabbit because I'm like, man, rabbits are cool looking. And then they gotta go. So that's not cool. So get chicken, homemade chicken, homemade honey. Homegrown, not homemade, but homegrown chicken, eggs, honey. A lot of people have honey here too. Another bike dude. And man, we're back. We're at the beginning when I said, are we gonna go right or left? And we went left. This was pretty far. Not gonna lie, pretty far. I'm pretty tired. Yeah, so this is the uh, village life in the Czech Republic. Very chill. Like I said, guys, if you want a change of life, change of scenery, Czech Republic is very cool. And it's also important like where you move to. I'm on the border of uh, Austria near Vienna. So I have it really close to the airport. Fly out anywhere. It's pretty cheap to fly around Europe. It's like a probably like a hundred bucks. Sometimes you get a round trip. There's also an airport in Brno and they got cheap flights sometimes like you can go to London for like 20 bucks. And sometimes it's like there and back. Just go out there in the morning, get some lunch, dinner, fly back, same day, next day, no big deal. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, what else can I say? I think this guy uh, that lives here, I think he trains dogs. Not really sure, but he's got a cool looking property. He's got a great view, man. A little pool, outdoor pool right there. He's got a little cool house. He's got a great view. But yeah, if you want to move to the Czech Republic, move to the Czech Republic. It's, uh, it's a great, change in lifestyles.